Hi, I'm Barbara Wise and I'm here to show you how to put together a container planting and we're going to do something really simple. We're going to put together a planting that I call a thriller, filler, and spiller. We're just going to use three plants and, uh, and just show you how you can do something that will look pretty during your, your, in your containers during the summertime. And one of the first things you need to remember when you're putting together a container planting is to make sure that your container has a hole in it. Now I've already put a little bit of soil in here, but I'm going to hold this up and show you that this has a hole in it. If you don't have a hole in your container, then what you have is a water garden. And that's a whole different kind of planting. So we're going to put this together and this is going to be a part sun. Uh, part shade container planting. You wouldn't want to put this in the full sun. The croton here is a tropical plant um, it, in our zone in Tennessee. It's going to grow uh, better if it gets some a little bit of shade. So we're going to take this and I've put, uh, I've put, I filled this up about a fourth of the way with soil. You can see that this is kind of a deep, this is a deep planter uh, for this pot and so you want to leave room there instead of filling the pot completely up with soil. So I've, I've got it about a fourth of the way full. I'm gonna add a little bit more. And I like to use a really uh, good quality container mix. Um, this is one of those areas you don't wanna skimp on. You wanna make sure you buy something that has a, a slow release fertilizer in it. It has some moisture control uh, using either perlite or moisture control pellets that's already built in into your into your potting mix. This is actually called Fafford Complete Container Mix and it, it's probably one of my favorites and I use it in almost all of my containers. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little bit more in here and so it's about halfway full. I'll show you that and then I'm gonna take my thriller. You just want to start with your thriller so you can position it first. It's going to be, have your biggest root ball. And when you look at this, you're going to see that it has, that it's very well rooted in. And you want to take that and help it feel a little bit more at home in the pot. And one of the ways you can do that is gently with your fingers, just come along here and loosen up that root ball. So you do that a little bit. So those roots start going, oh, I can stretch my arms, I can feel a little bit better. And then I'm going to place that towards the back of the pot. Now I do have the tag still on it. I had a, uh, a fellow who worked with me and he said, oh, you need to always leave the tags on it so they'll know they're new plants. But uh, I'm not going to pull a mini pearl here and keep the tag on and we'll take the tag off. So gotcha. I've got my thriller in here and when you plant it, you want to make sure that the top of the root ball is about an inch below the rim of your pot. And the reason you do that is because you're going to add a little bit more soil on here and sometimes you want to finish it off with either a little bit of um, a fine bark or some rocks or something like that. So, and you want to have room that when you water, the, the water doesn't just flow right flow right from the root ball the top of the root ball off onto the floor or something you want it to be able to sink in so you need that little bit of space between the top of the soil and the rim of your pot so I'm going to put this plant this uh, croton in right here and then I've got lots of choices and if you were not a camera and a real person I would let you choose what you would like to put in it and so I'm going to go with an ornamental pepper. I love using ornamental peppers just because they, um, they have fun texture. You've got this big heavy leaf right here and then you cut, this adds just a little bit of texture interest, interest. It also echoes the colors that are in the croton. You've got that same chartreuse yellow, you've got a little bit of red, reddish orange, and then you've got the true orange right there. And again, I'm just gonna loosen up the root ball. This is gonna be my filler. So we've got your thriller to planted towards the back. I'm probably, let's see, I need a little bit more. Since this is not as deep a root, I'm going to add a little bit more soil in here and put my, my thriller in there. Now, if you're an instant gratification person, you might not, you might think, oh, that's too small. You could go in and add maybe another 
to give you a little bit more instant gratification. Or you could come in with this begonia. This is uh, Santa Cruz begonia, which I love. It's a great one. But it is solid orange, and um, I have a uh, someone that I used to work with that did not like orange, so I'm not going to put a solid orange thing in there. So I'm going to come in here with, uh, actually I'm going to go ahead and add, give us a little bit more instant gratification. I'm going to add this, this little uh, this little ornamental pepper and put that in there. And so you've got your thriller, you've got your filler, and then we're going to come in here with your spiller. And again, if you were not a camera and a real person, I'd ask you what you would like to use. But I've got two choices here. I can go with the uh, variegated, um, the variegated marjoram, or I can go with this lemon ball sedum. And the plants that are in this plant are all like things to be a little on the dry side, which the sedum actually loves being on the dry side. <clears throat> so I'm going to use the sedum. So I'm going to take this and loosen up the root ball a little bit and then plant that, take out the tag, and then plant that right to the side so that it is spilling over. And that is my thriller. So, get this in the sun, sunlight a little bit better. You can see this thriller, filler, spiller. And then you're going to come in, not done yet, and come in here, and there's lots of little holes in here that don't have soil. So you're going to come in here with your potting mix and fill in those soils, fill, fill in the holes with some soil. And again, making sure that there's about oh half, you know, a half an inch at the top of the at the top of your root ball before you get to the rim of your pot. Come in here. Spilled this up pretty well, but come in here and in this in this planting, there's really not any soil that you see. But if it had been uh, if it had been smaller plants, and like if you would we had just used one of the ornamental peppers, and you saw a little bit of soil, that's where you'd want to come in and add some fine uh, pine fines, some bark. You can even use uh, little pebble, little tiny pebbles, little gray pebbles, and uh, and just um, you know finish finish the pot off so it has a little bit more of a, a finished look. Once you get finished with your container planting, you're going to want to water it really well and make sure, uh, make sure that the soil is completely saturated. But again, since this wants to be on the dry side, you'll end up watering it during the summertime about three times a week. If you start seeing the leaves of the ornamental peppers, they'll be your indicator plant, letting you know if, this is, uh, if it needs a little bit of water. They'll start to curl up, kind of close in halfway, and you'll know, hey, this little baby needs some water. So you would, you know, if it, like if it gets really, really hot, like in the hundreds or something, you'll probably need to water it more than three times, um, three times a week. I might have said three times a day, but I meant three times a week. So there you have it. Thriller, filler, spiller. You have uh, color echo. You've got the color echo of the chartreuse, echoing the chartreuse in the planter and the chartreuse color here. You also have color echo here with the orange and the red echoing this off and that gives the planter a nice finished look. Thank you.